The thing about big fish is they are not found at random throughout a river. They will tend to be found near underwater features. And when I went to look for Piraiba in Guyana, what I was looking for was deep water. And what was helping me do this was this box of tricks here. This is a sonar. And how this works is basically you put this bit, this is a transducer in the water, and the screen will actually map the riverbed for you. It'll tell you the depth. And one particular pool that I was looking at that looked promising turned out to have a very deep area, 60 foot. But what was significant, it didn't gently shelve off to this depth. It actually plunged down from about 10 foot to 60 foot. There was an underwater cliff there. And what that meant was that uh, when I came to fish there, if, if we had been talking about a gently sloping bottom, um, I could have got away with using braided line. This here is, has a breaking strain of 200 pounds, but if that touches a bit of rock, that's gonna break. So I had to revert to old fashioned nylon monofilament. This has got a breaking strain of 130 pounds. Um, not very easy to fish with, huge reel to carry it all. Um, I can't cast this. I had to go out into the pool, lowering the bait and then retreating to the bank. And the other thing I'd say is that when I'm fishing, whenever I'm fishing, I gear up for the biggest fish I'm likely to encounter. I don't want to hook something, then it gets away. So yeah, some people might say something like this is complete overkill for fresh water, but if I hadn't been using this, based partly on the information that the sonar had given me, there's no way that I would have got that Piraiba in.